What do bulletproof vests, firefighter gear, and spacecraft all have in common? They all rely on a remarkable material that's five times stronger than steel, but incredibly light. And it was discovered by a chemist who refused to believe her experiment was a failure. This is the story of Kevlar. Let's go to 1965 to the DuPont Chemical Company labs. A chemist named Stephanie Kwalek was working on a project to develop a new lightweight, yet strong fiber to be used in tires. Her work involved mixing up liquid crystal solutions and spinning them into fibers. One day, she created a solution that was different from all the others. It was thin, cloudy, and looked like buttermilk. Usually, solutions like this were thrown away because they were considered failures. The machine operator even refused to spin it at first, fearing it would clog the machinery. But Stephanie's scientific intuition told her this strange, cloudy solution was something special. She insisted they spin it, and when they did, the result was astonishing. The fiber that emerged was not brittle or weak. It was incredibly stiff and unbelievably strong. She had created a new polymer that could be aligned in a way that made it fantastically durable. This failed experiment had produced a superfiber. DuPont named it Kevlar. Its ability to absorb energy and resist penetration soon made it the go-to material for body armor saving the lives of countless police officers and soldiers around the world. Stephanie Kwalek's story is a lesson in trusting your gut. She saw potential where others saw a mistake. Her refusal to throw away that cloudy liquid gave the world a material that protects our heroes and pushes the boundaries of engineering. Time for a tricky question. Stephanie Kwalek's discovery was a happy accident. But if the lab technician had followed standard procedure and thrown her failed cloudy solution away, would a material like Kevlar never have been invented? Or is it more likely someone else would have found it eventually? Why? Let me know your thinking below.